Look at that. Okay, let's go for a bit. Hello Vegan Food Explorers, it is a Thursday in the Vegan Food Exploring household but we're treating it like a Friday because we've had a long week. So we have been exploring the Waitrose Plant Life Frozen section. Plant Life is their own brand vegan offering, kind of in-house brand and I think it's really cool actually. I started seeing it I think last year in their stores and I've had a few things but I don't think I've ever had anything from their frozen section. Is this frozen? Yeah. It is frozen. We're starting with the six spiced seitan tenders. Look at those, those look good. They say source of protein. They say wheat protein seasoned with sweet pepper, chipotle and garlic in a seeded coated crumb. Okay, let's have a quick look at those. Price wise, two pounds 50. Okay, that's interesting. Let's have a look. Okay, so you get a few of six of these. So serves three. Who's having two of these? Is that your meal? <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, they look quite nice, don't they? Look at those. They're kind of, oh, they've got like a seed, seedy crumb on them. The crumb doesn't look super thick, actually. I can see through. So interested to see what that tastes like. I don't think I've ever had a sunflower seed uh, in a kind of butter thing. Also, I'm still questioning two each. That sounds a bit weird. I'm pretty sure we're going to be having three each, along with a load of other stuff. But they look good, seasoned with sweet pepper. Okay, so roughly half the pack, a bit, little bit less actually. 287 calories, 15 grams of fat, but only one gram of saturated fat. And then 17 grams of protein. That is pretty good, 17.7 .7 grams of protein. They are higher on the fat, but I assume it's because it's got all of those different seeds. Um, and then carbohydrate 17, that must be some from the coating. So 17.7 .7 grams of fat, not too bad. Right, now let's get on to Plant Life crisp, crisp Crumbed Mac Bites. So these are coconut oil cheese alternatives and pasta in seasoned breadcrumbs. That's a very, that's a very clinical description, isn't it? Okay, here we go. Yeah, better one is rich and creamy in a crispy crumb. And these look quite interesting. So these were three pounds. So three pounds is expensive, isn't it? Let's face it. But you've got to remember, this is Waitrose. This is a premium product. And you get quite a few. Hopefully they're going to taste nice. Look at those. Those, those are quite interesting, actually. Oh, don't drop them. Yeah, they're really interesting. Very light batter. Rock solid because they're frozen, or they are starting to defrost. Okay, those are interesting. I'm interested to try those. So it's coconut, so that's going to be good. Look at the picture on that. Right, we pop both of these in the oven. Let's catch up when they're done. They've just come out of the oven, looking really interesting. So the Satan uh, tenders, whatever they're calling them, looking good. This is crisped up really nicely. Hasn't burnt as well, which I thought maybe these seeds would. But I think the star of the show so far are the crisp crumb mat bites. Look at this. Oh yes. Squeeze it out. Looking epic. They also squeezed out a little bit on the um, on the cooking tray, which is what we always like to see. So let's try them. We have to try the mac and cheese first. They're a bit squashed now because I just filmed them squeezing them, but let's go for it. We're also cooking something in the background. Sorry for the noise. Look at that. Okay, let's go for a bit. So you can just see the little bits of macaroni in there. So I'd say the outer coating, really nice, crispy, little crunchy. Inside, super soft. I'm really enjoying the squeezy cheese there. Flavour wise, it is nice and it is smooth. I just think it's lacking a bit. It doesn't have that, I know mac and cheese doesn't really taste of loads, but it should have a little bit more flavour, I think. It doesn't have, it just falls a bit flat after you get really nice, delicate textures and the outer has a really nice flavour, but the, the actual macaroni, mm, not maybe as flavourful as it could be. I think that's fair, but they are nice. Price range, mm, still a bit high, but if you want something that looks pretty cool, serve as like a canapé or a starter, I think they'll do a good job. Maybe you could put with them some sort of sauce, but 
I think the looks, the texture, and the ooziness they've nailed. I think they just need to refine the flavor. Okay, let's have a quick drink of water and then let's go on to the tenders. So these, I'm gonna try them without a sauce first, just to get the full flavor experience. Even though the coating was quite thin, I think it's plenty, it looks fine. I'm really interested to see what it tastes like with these, um, these seeds. Let's go for it. Those are really interesting. I was expecting more of like a, you know, like a bird's eye green cuisine, but they're quite nice actually. It's a lot more, I don't know actually, it's kind of softer than I thought. I guess they're tenders, but it tastes really nice. I would say it's not like a meat, fake meat. It's very different to that, which is not a bad thing, actually. I think I just wasn't expecting that. It's not like a bird's eye, you know, it's going to trick someone thinking it's chicken. But it's really nice. Let's go for another bite. Mmm. It's got a nice texture. I really like the crispiness of the outside. Again, though, it's not full of flavour. It's not got like a... It, again, it follows the exact same for me, flavour profile and taste experience as the mac and cheese. It goes great texture, great crunch, great texture of the inside, really soft. You get an initial flavour, but there's no rich, deep flavour at the end. So I've got to give it a few marks down, but I think they're almost there. I love the protein in this. I love the ooziness of this and the look of both of them. I love the idea of them. I also like it when they use seitan and things like that. I think it's great. I think they just need to finalise the flavour just a little bit more. I'm sure this would be delicious with some ketchup, barbecue sauce, things like that. So would I buy them again? 100%. Definitely buy them. If we're watching sport, a film, having friends around, you just want like picky food, definitely would. But I think they could turbocharge these a little bit more. So that is some of the plant life frozen food. I'm a fan, to be honest. It's definitely pricey, but I think you get some good quality there. So thank you for watching. Have you had any of the plant life um, stuff, either frozen or refrigerated or ambient? Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you for watching. And of course, we will see you in the next video.